Hello Gemini, welcome to your weekly reading. I know that I haven't done one for you in a while, but this will be good for the next seven days. Seven days from the date that you view this video. So we are going to go ahead and get started here. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Excuse me one second. Sorry, Gemini. Just got to adjust my camera. Okay. My above camera. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, we have tent, which is temporary situation. Man. And we have October. Kind of funny, we're about ready to enter October season. Okay, so we have a man here, a masculine. This could be somebody that's in your life or somebody very important to you. That there's some kind of situation with a man. This could be a boss. This could be a masculine um, family member, romantic partner. But it's a temporary situation. If you're finding yourself in a very tough space with somebody, argument discord whatever the situation is spirit is saying it is temporary okay and this is something in october okay let's um see if there's any what else we have here I should have had all my decks ready and I do apologize. Okay. Let's get a couple of these. And as of the date today that I am uploading this, um, today, well, today is Monday. I have another video coming out on my other channel about summer wells a girl that went missing over a year ago five-year-old little girl in tennessee you may want to hop over to there and watch, check that out after you watch your weekly reading okay show me gemini please sacred purpose eternal flame essential essential legacy Okay, this is somebody that you might have some kind of karmic connection with. Healing the heart. Okay, so there is a temporary situation that you may have experienced. This might even have been a short-term relationship, actually. That something in October in relation to this, you feel you have a soul bond with this person, and you are trying that you are trying to heal with. True love, compassion, tenderness. Okay. So I feel as though what Spirit is saying here to be kind and gentle with yourself. Allow yourself to heal. You will heal. This is a temporary sit setback, a temporary situation. You know, when we have breakups and separations, it hurts. And it does take some time to heal. But that pain that you feel it's temporary. It will ease over time. Okay, let's take a look at your tarot. Okay, show me that Gemini energy. Show me that Gemini energy. For the next seven days, please. And our, yes, the next seven days is going into the beginning of October. as when this reading is recording. If you don't view this until the middle of October, or if you don't see this until November, then October will have played, played, probably played an important role. Okay, show me a Gemini energy, please. We have the Six of Wands. There is a sense of victory here. There's a sense of feeling good, feeling better. So you may have been going through a healing phase. And as I said, that the situation is temporary. 
you might find yourself starting to feel a little bit better this coming week. Let's see where this is going. We have the Queen of Cups. So, Queen of Cups is representing I'm feeling better. I'm healing myself. I'm being gentle with myself. I'm being kind. Okay. Heart space expanding. The sun. Beautiful energy. That is that feeling that warmth again. For some of you, there could be new romance coming in. Or you could be meeting somebody that makes you feel good. Finally, you're feeling warm about it. Feeling good about it. It seems to be very uplifting here. And we have um, awakening. So there is a new sense of renewal within yourself. An awakening within yourself. It feels like your heart space, your emotions is waking up again. This is traditionally the judgment card. That I'm not seeing... I mean... I'm, it can be a reconciliation with somebody that you may have had an argument, made a temporary split, discord with. That is a, definitely a possibility for some of you. For others of you, this is reconciling within yourself, your own heart space. This is you recognizing your own self-worth again. Um, feeling good again. Um, we have the Six of Coins. That's a trade-off, that is a giving, that is a give and take. So you might be receiving an apology from somebody. What is underlining? It's a Ten of Cups. This definitely feels like fam a family situation. Most likely domestic. <clears throat> Just saying. So whatever is going on here, there is a sense of healing. There is a sense of recognizing the problem, fixing the problem, apologies coming forth, maybe even apologies back and forth between the two of you. I'm sorry for what I did. They say, I'm sorry too. You know, trying to reconcile this, feel better about the situation and the heart space. I'm not seeing anything drastic. To be honest, I'm not actually even seeing a full-blown break here. I'm seeing more of discord arguing, not getting along, maybe a temporary separation that involved maybe not speaking to each other. This could be with a family member, a sibling, a child, a parent, but it feels very much like family. And if it, if, if it was friendship, I probably would see three of cups. If it was a work-related situation, I would see three of pentacles or eight of pentacles. None of that is here. It's Ten of Cups, which is the family unit. So, if you're worried about a relationship, about discord, not getting along, it seems like things are smoothing out for you this week. Okay? Things are smoothing out. Let's see if I could get some other information here. And I do apologize. I'm going to try to keep these brief. Um, brief readings. Because I also have to get started on October's readings. Okay. So, Gemini, let's see what this is all about. And let me know how you like this new format. Seeing my face and then having a second camera on the cards directly. Okay. I'm really curious about that. Family concerns. Need I say more? So there is a solution coming to some family concerns here. What about these family concerns? Self-love. This might have been teaching you about self-love. Uh, I almost get the image of somebody standing up for themselves. Which may have caused a discord. But it is also an awakening and an awareness between you and this other person. I feel as though, you know, you, being recognized here with the um, Six of Wands. You know, somebody recognizing your strength finally. Somebody recognizing, you know, they can't be a pushover. Almost like 
I feel like gaining respect is what I really feel like. Okay, what are, anything else here? Big success. Yes, eternal love. So yes, this is a soul bond. Soulmate. I called it. This is a soul bond here, folks. And this, you know, there are some family concerns. And it taught you a lot about self-love. And you're gaining respect from this other person. And there is a sense of healing. And in the healing process and bringing this back together, reconciling your differences, judgment card, okay, is going to bring big success. So, I hope you found this helpful and useful for this coming week. Comment as you see fit below. Love and light. Blessed be.